Hello everyone and welcome to the first segment of Activism in Action. It is a series that I'm starting on my channel that highlights different entities, organizations, and projects that are specifically involving the work. That being said, let's get into this first project. I am here with Gray. Uh, Gray is a uh, transmasculine um, person from Boston? Yeah, sure. Where, where are you from? <laughs> from Virginia. From Virginia, okay. The project that we are doing is called Listen, She's Got a Lot to Say. And this project is built around the philosophy that we want trans women of color to exist in a way that is going to have their stories told accurately. And what more accurate of a way than to have them tell the stories? The project is definitely to prioritize voices of folks who we would understand to be the most marginalized right now, particularly in the US, the focus is on the United States. So we really are striving to connect with and reach out to trans women of color and trans feminine identified folks of color. The project is a year-round project in which Gray here will be traveling the United States by bike um, in order to gather the stories firsthand. It's going to be in-person conversations and the idea is to try and have conversations with folks in spaces where they'll feel comfortable or safer to, to share their stories. At the end of the project, the plan is to be in Washington, D.C. approximately a year from now, where we will take part in full-scale editing, which will hopefully involve um, some sort of accountability, either team or some accountability coach. And as of right now, we are working on a tentative calendar that will allow us to let people know exactly when we're approximately going to be where. So far I've ridden my bike down part of the East Coast and cut across to Illinois where we currently are at. Um, Vita and I have been talking long distance over the phone and email for a while but we finally have had a chance to sit down for a good week and work on some of this in person. We're going to be in the Midwest for a little bit. Um, the next big cities we're going to be hitting are, are Detroit, Chicago, uh, the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, um, and then gradually kind of doing the perimeter of the United States, so making it over to the Northwest, coming all the way down the West Coast, um, and back across the South, um, and then coming back up the East Coast. So During this process, I will be kind of spearheading um, a very, very uh, sure to be rigorous transcription of the audio files that we receive. We currently have a Facebook page up for the website. Um, that'll be in the, the link to that will be in the description below. We also are working on uh, potentially a WordPress page and we're also in the hunt for our own domain page for the project itself. With a project like this and with a team like this, one of the things that we have to mention is of course the elephant in the room. What's the elephant in the room, guys? The elephant in the room is a white uh, transmasculine person on a project that is involving the stories of trans women of color. Why do we bring this up right away? So one of our biggest worries about that, about the involvement of a white transmasculine person in this project, is the fear that you know some people might not necessarily be into the credibility of it. We're very aware of that. Um, and. Hopefully, it doesn't take away from what the project means and what we want the project to mean for everyone that, uh, for everyone whose stories we're gathering right now. As a, a white person and a masculine person engaged in this project, it feels really important to me to be hyper vigilant about the impact of my positionality on the work that we're doing um, and to really do my best to minimize that impact. <laughs> I'm really interested in engaging in this project. Um, specifically in thinking about solidarity and how white folks and how folk, trans masculine folks and masculine folks can be better supporting communities that we feel connected to that are facing a lot more marginalization than, than we are. Anyone who agrees to do any kind of interviewing whatsoever has been and will continue to be compensated for the interviews. We have drafted up confidentiality agreements. This recording is all audio which means that there are no faces seen, um, the, there are no pictures uh, taken or used, uh, 
uh, of the participants unless they willingly agree to that and they also have the option to send whatever pictures and whatever bios they think will represent them the most properly. So that being said, we get into the part where we have to be kind of shameless about this work. We have to talk about the things we need. So funding. Funding's a real thing. Um, we are very committed to being able to compensate anyone who chooses to share their stories with us and that feels really important. Um, and we also need to make sure that we can maintain the quality of the audio that we're gathering. And None of the funding is going to be going into my own travel expenses um, for taking this trip or for biking around. We also have a fundraising page for the project. The link will be in the description below. Any money that we don't use in the completion of this project will be going specifically to organizations that aid trans women of color. If you or anyone you know might be interested in sharing their stories with us, please contact Vita and me. Shoot us an email, check out the Facebook page. Again, all that information will be listed below the video. So one of the biggest things about a project like this is making sure people know about it. We need people to share this video. We need people to share whatever you can about this project and let people know that this is happening um, because this is one of those things that we literally cannot do without you all. I know for, for us both that this project is probably one of the most important things we've done in our entire life. So again, the project is Listen, she's got a lot to say. It is an oral uh, trans woman of color storytelling journey. All right, y'all take it easy, okay? This is Activism in Action. I see you. I love you. I lift you. This is Vita and Gray. Peace.